Right, hello there, viewers. This is another Sega Mega Drive video. It is about the popular Sega Mega Drive Genesis and how all the clones made by other companies failed to emulate the original Sega Mega Drive. We have two Radica ones here and the At Games Sega Mega Drive. And I'm going to talk about them and just, just explain to you the good things about them and the bad things about them. I will also be doing a comparison on this one, the At Games Sega Mega Drive, against the real Sega Mega Drive consoles. And you will see and hear the difference. Uh, if you watch... Um, some of uh, MN 12 birds videos uh, you'll know what I'm talking about with these Radica ones he's done uh, he's uploaded some videos about these ones and I suppose you all know that all three of these all have sound problems which pisses me off a great deal because the music and sound effects means a lot to me and if it's not perfect I can't enjoy it to some of you, or most of you, maybe that doesn't matter, but to me it does. Um, I will say that I did buy these two Radica Sega Mega Drives um, on my own, um, but I did not buy this at Games one. This was not bought by me, because I knew, I was fully aware that it had sound problems, so I was not interested in it. But another family member of mine decided to buy this. And they bought this after I told them that the audio was terrible. <laughs> well, these two Radica ones, um, this one here, you get six games in it. I'm sure you all know that. Uh, popular Sega Mega Drive games, mind you. Sonic 2, Akula Dolphin, Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle, G uh, Gangground, um, The Ooze, and Columns. Um, all these games I have on the real hardware, so I have no need to play this. Um, and then we have the Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition Radica plug and play. Uh, which only has two games in it. The popular Sega Mega Drive Genesis version of Street Fighter 2 and bonus game included Ghouls and Ghosts which is also from Capcom. Uh, yes. Uh, and if you've watched um, the Incom Company Classic Games Rooms HD who also uploaded a video on this product here you'll also know what I'm talking about uh, I've got this one the at games one open here uh, here it is um, it's only a tiny little thing but the difference with this one is that you actually get a cartridge slot um, this one only has 15 games built in not 20 and the different games to the one that has 20 games in it and um, it's missing that PAL NTSC switch on the back this one now obviously this one's not as good and of course of course it's going to give you mono sound oh they can't give you stereo sound can they these emulated Mega Drive failed products I always give you mono sound they treat you like a five-year-old when we all know that the real ones could output stereo sound providing you had the right cables yeah but with this one this 15 in games 15 games built in to this at games Sega Mega Drive you also get a cartridge slot which lets you play as far as I know, most of your 
Sega Mega Drive Genesis games. Which is really good. <laughs> but the audio, the audio is terrible. The audio is bad in all of these. These two Radica ones, the FM chip, it sounds pretty much the same, like I said before, but it's distorted. Just like the Model 2. But these are even worse than the Model 2 because for some reason Radica decided to mute the PSG chip. That is why some sound effects and parts of the music you cannot hear. So I don't know why, but at least the music is in perfect sync. It doesn't sound like uh, the musicians are drunk and don't know how to play their instruments. Like this one here. Not only is it rough, the audio is not only rough and distorted, but it's out of sync. It sounds like, you know, it sounds like the uh, musicians don't know how to play their instruments properly. <laughs> Everything's out of tune. And I'm going to do a demonstration right now for you using this one. I'll do I'll do a variation with some games on this one against the real Sega Mega Drive. And you'll hear and see for yourself the great and terrible difference. Well, enough said. I'll put it on, shall I? Before I go, I just want to say that, you know, these are, they're good for a laugh. You know, they're, they're alright to buy f for a present for a little kid or for a relative of yours. But, put it this way, you wouldn't want to use any of these for your everyday gaming. I would still highly recommend... The Model 1 Mega Drive Genesis or a Model 2 Mega Drive Genesis. Because at the end of the day, they are the only two that are really worth it. All the rest suck major balls. And here we go.
So there you go. Which one do you think is better? <laughs> I know which one I think is better. <laughs> so, these three in the front, they're no good. They're only good to give to somebody for a present. That's it. End of video. Thank you for watching. See you later.